Hi and welcome to a new video. You keep getting notifications on your iPhone or iPad about emptying your iCloud storage because it is full? In this video, I'll explain to you what the iCloud storage actually is and how to free some space there in order to get rid of these notifications. Let's go. But what is the iCloud storage and what do you need it for? iCloud is a cloud from Apple on which your data such as pictures, contacts, notes, and much more are saved. This allows you to access your data from anywhere and synchronize it with your other Apple devices such as a Mac. Then you will find the same information in your photos and your calendar as you have them on your iPhone. At the same time, your data is secured in case you lose your iPhone. If you have activated the backup function, you can even save your entire iPhone in the cloud. When you create an Apple ID, you get 5GB of iCloud storage for free. The problem, however, is that by default, all data is uploaded to the iCloud. Photos are a big problem because they tend to exceed the storage space of 5GB. The easiest way to solve this problem is to buy more iCloud storage. It doesn't cost that much and just makes sense. For 1 euro a month, you get 50 gigabyte of storage. That is enough to save all apps in the cloud, to create backups and to save a few photos on it. Especially backups are important. You can also create backups on a computer, but how often do you actually do that? Even if you do it once a month, in the worst case, you would have lost data for an entire month. Nevertheless, at the end of the video, I'll show you how to create an iTunes backup. Okay, first, go to Settings. Then click on your name and then on iCloud. In the bar on top, you can see how much iCloud storage each service is using. You should have 5 gigabyte of storage available unless you haven't subscribed to anything. Under Manage Storage, you can see more precisely how much storage is used by the apps or files. You should delete those that use most of your storage. For most people, these are the photos. Now, the next step is to delete photos from your cloud. But before we do that, go back to iCloud and click on Photos. Make sure that Download and Keep Originals is switched on and then deactivate iCloud Photos. If you see the option My Photo Stream, activate it, because then your photos will be exchanged between your Apple devices with the same Apple ID without using up any iCloud storage. This only works if you didn't create your Apple ID recently. If you have changed settings, charge your iPhone for 30 minutes. Then the data from the cloud can be downloaded to your iPhone. Now you can delete the photos from the cloud. Go back to Settings, click on your name, then on iCloud. Manage Storage, Photos, and then tap on Disable and Delete. Now you have to click on Continue Anyway. Don't worry, no data will be deleted from your iPhone, only from the cloud. You can download the photos and videos from iCloud.com for another 30 days. You can find the link in the video description below. If you want to transfer your photos and videos to your computer, you can find more videos on my channel. Another thing that uses a lot of storage are iCloud backups. If you have backups of devices that you may no longer use or you have created backups on iTunes, you can click on the corresponding backup and delete it completely. You can also see which apps are stored in the backup and how much storage they require. This way you can also delete individual backups of apps that are no longer needed. Concentrate on the apps on top because they are sorted by size. WhatsApp uses quite a lot as well mostly for photos and videos because they use up a lot of storage. These you can sort out or delete. In the settings under Storage and Data, and then Manage Storage, the photos and videos are sorted by size again. If you don't want to have any iCloud backups, you have to switch them off so that new ones are created in the future. In order to do that, go back to iCloud. Click on Backup and deactivate the iCloud backups. Here you can also deactivate apps that are not allowed to store data in your iCloud. Deactivate the apps that you either don't use or that you simply don't want to put data on your cloud. I would turn off contacts for example. They almost don't use any storage at all but you need to add all contacts anew in case your iPhone breaks. 
iCloud Drive, for example, can be deactivated without any problems. To create a backup on a Windows computer, you need iTunes. You can download and install iTunes either from the Apple website or from the Microsoft Store. Mac users either have iTunes pre-installed or if you have the OSX version Catalina or higher, which I have, the process works via the Finder. Now, connect your iPhone to your computer and make sure to use original chargers or ones that are MFI certified. Otherwise, no data can be transferred. A link to a good charger can be found in the video description below. Then, you're ready to create a backup. Open iTunes, or in my case, the Finder. Click on your iPhone and then on Backup Now. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.